Okay, we've got this Volkswagen City Golf, which we are going to be um, replacing with this pads. So the first thing that we need to do is jack the car up, you know, put it on stands, take the wheels off, and then uh, we have to take this uh, brake drum off, okay, so that we can uh, take a look inside and see what the disc pads look like, uh, the brake pads, sorry. So what we do is we use a, uh, we use a chisel, just take, take the dust cover off, and uh, you know, this is a mistake a lot of people make. This is a dust cover, okay? It's supposed to catch the excess grease. It's not supposed to be filled with grease, okay? I've got the camera in the way, so I've got to work at different angles here. And then we have a, a lock on, on, the, on the, the, the washer, okay? And we call it the castle lock, which the split pin fits through. we we'll take that out of the way. And then a size 22 spanner. Shoot fit, size 22. It's an older car, so it's a size 24 spanner. Okay, we we'll just loosen it up. And uh, the rest of it comes off by hand, okay? Um, so now what we need to do is we need to uh, set the handbrake down and then pull the and then the, pull the drum off. Okay, so the handbrake set down. So we'll just pull the drum off, and there you can see um, we have our brake pads, which is slightly worn down. We're going to put some new uh, brake shoes on. Um, the inner bearing seems to be st stuck stuck to the the shaft which we'll take off we have to replace this wheel bearing as well because it is a little bit noisy okay so the next stage is to remove the brake shoes okay um, we have uh, one main spring we have actually uh, uh, two springs okay that holds this uh, unit on okay we have one main spring at the bottom this is just the spring for the adjuster i'll explain to you how that works then we have two anchors okay so what we do first you need a side cutter good old side cutter some people will use a uh, brake spring plier okay which uh, will make things easier but i mean that's how you take the one spring off there we'll take the adjuster spring out of the way okay you just basically take it out of the way like that and then of course we have the top spring which we loosen up like that okay take that out of the way and then there's two ways of loosening the anchor pins okay you can use a water pump pliers i'll take one off with a water pump pliers and i'll take one off with a special tool it's actually an anchor pin remover okay so this is basically how it looks inside you can actually see what you're doing okay um, so all that we need to do is we need to press keep our finger at the back on the pin so the pin doesn't push through you push it give it a twist um, until it uh, until that um, locking that locking cap basically lines up with your anchor pin okay which is which it's gonna look like this all right so the anchor pin will go through and then when you give it a twist you know the anchor pin cannot cannot be pulled out so that's basically how it works very simply okay just a half a twist a, a, a half rotation and that comes out okay and then of course with a water pump pliers you can do it this way and just push it in give it a twist until that pin comes out okay it's not 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 easy to do it with with, with a water pump pliers it's obviously a lot easier with a special tool but with a bit of practice anything becomes easy okay so now we'll basically remove both shoes um, the handbrake cable must be loosened up you know it just basically clips out of that slot there okay and then we have these two which are basically um, set into each other all right um, this is the main yeah so i basically want to show you how to assemble the adjuster okay um, we have a tapered unit a tapered plate here okay which i will explain to you now how this whole thing works okay so the first thing that we need to do is to see how many components actually makes up this assembly okay so you have your your your, your brake shoe with a brake lever and brake lever um, on and then of course you have the other brake shoe which basically has the, the self adjuster um, riveted on okay and then that is an activator to activate the adjustment on the on the brakes itself so the first step would be is to put your this uh, uh, um, plate in okay which goes through the, the 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 so that it attaches to the handbrake okay because when you pull the handbrake you want it to activate the, the handbrake okay i'll show you how that works 
and then of course we're going to put in our adjuster that's a taper okay then that fits basically inside there all right but there's a tricky bit this spring basically has to go onto this whole assembly okay so the spring fits on your unit that basically goes onto your onto your handbrake lever okay so that spring basically has to hook in there all right so we have to stretch the spring to make it basically hold and hook all right i'll show you how to do that so once again um, that's how that goes okay once that is in place okay we have that unit in place okay that that cannot come out now and then we have the actuator for the adjuster which basically goes it's tapered i'll explain that to you uh, quite shortly and then we'll take the spring we put the spring in the back of this brake shoe that hole there you can see what the spring looks like there okay we'll put that in there so that it lays across okay now we will hook that spring into the into the section that is provided for it and we'll pull this brake shoe all the way until it basically sits there okay now just concentrate on this unit i want to explain how this whole thing works okay because that taper is down at, the, at, it, at, its, uh, at its furthest point so in other words these brake shoes are adjusted out as much as what it can go okay so how it basically works is remember that we have a um, that we basically have a spring going down onto this and when this brake shoes basically gets pulled apart okay that actuator will drop can you see how it what it's done it'll drop in and it'll um, take the shoe a little further out okay so that when you do pull up the handbrake it's gonna hold um, the drum so the drum doesn't move all right so that's basically um, you know I hope that you do understand how this how this works it's really simple okay um, uh, this is basically a self-adjusting brakes in other words okay it is not like some of the um, if you know you looked at some of my other videos you will find that there is an adjusting wheel this doesn't work like that okay this is a much simpler and easier system that works with that taper all right so now uh, what we need to do is we need to put on brand new brake shoes so yes we have the brand new brake shoes which the customer supplied okay uh, 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 BBC make uh, that's brand new as you can see it looks a uh, pretty good quality okay so we get four in the set okay one for the left one for the right doesn't really matter um, and there you can see that is matching what we have there okay um, a leading shoe and a trailing shoe okay and uh, it's got its uh, handbrake lever on it and it's also got the adjuster that is basically riveted onto the brake shoe. So we'll go ahead and we put this together. And what we have to do, you can actually do this this assembly here. Um, you know, before we just pull that apart and then uh, just discard the old brake shoes, we use the same parts again. You don't get this brand new. This can be used over and over and over again. Okay. All right, so here we are. We're going to be putting this together now. That's the brand new brake shoe, as you can see. Um, okay, we basically put the, the cross rod on, All right? and then we put the actuator for the for the adjustment, uh, brake adjustment. We we'll put the retaining spring in. All right, we we'll put that spring across, a little hook in there, and then just a little bit of elbow grease, and we'll just pull it apart across, and there we go. Okay. So now we are ready to put that back onto the vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are. What I just basically do is I use a brush. I just get rid of all the, the dust, the loose dust, so that we have a nice clean um, place to work. Take the spring back sufficiently. And we'll mount the handbrake cable onto the handbrake lever, okay? And then we have our assembly here, which we'll just slide in. Make sure that it basically goes into that, it's got to go into this groove over here, okay? And so everything lines up nicely. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just anchor one of the, one of the pins 
uh, one of the shoes at least. We'll take an anchor pin, we'll put it out through the back. There is only one hole at the back here. Yeah? You'll see it come out on that side. Okay, you'll put a spring in there and then we'll put one of the retainers in. Now put the retainer so that it matches, um, you know, the flattened part of the retainer spring. And then all we need to do is push it in and give it a twist. Easier said than done. But if you can see what you are doing, then it is basically pretty simple. Okay, I'll just give it a twist like that. And there you can see that you is anchored. Okay, very importantly, make sure that your, your, your lever is in, in its proper position. Okay, so here we go. We'll put in the next, uh, the next brake shoe. Okay, so hold it down. The anchor pin in, you can see it come through. Just hold it with one end, okay. Put in this compressed spring, you put in your your anchor pin retainer, take your special tool, and you'll just push that in, okay. Give it a twist. I'll take you a little bit closer so that you can just see, and then that is how it basically locks in, okay. Half a turn. That locks in. You turn it the other way anti-clockwise, it's going to slip out. Okay, so that is the proper position. All that's left to do now is just to position everything. Okay, and we take our we'll take our bottom spring. We put our bottom spring in so that it pull, pulls these two brake shoes together. Okay, we'll take our adjuster and we'll put our spring onto our adjuster so that it can self-activate. See, when you pump the brakes, basically what is going to happen is these brake shoes are going to pull, pull back and then the adjuster will actually pull down, okay? So what we'll do is, we'll just push this up, okay, so that it adjusts to its uh, lowest, so that we can get the brake, uh, the brake drum on, okay? And then, of course, we have our last, um, we have our last spring, which basically just uh, keeps our brake shoes together okay that goes down at the bottom and it just simply clicks clicks and hooks in there so you don't need any fancy special tools here okay you can see it's basically we need a side cutter um, this is a optional extra if you have it you know if you don't have it you can use your trusty water pump pliers so basically in all essence this brake shoes has been fitted now Okay, I'm just going to ask my assistant to uh, apply brakes very slowly so that we can just see how this um, actual adjuster works. Okay, so we're going to pay close attention to the adjuster. Okay, um, just pump it a few times, Giuseppe. Can you see that? Okay, thank you, Giuseppe. Can you see what happened there? Let's do it again in case you missed it. Uh, hang on, Sip. Hang on. Uh, we just push the actuator back up again. Can you see how the brake shoes comes together? Okay, so it's making it's basically forming a smaller circle So now when we basically pump the brakes, okay, and uh, the brake shoes are not touching the drum yet So you pump it and then you will see how Okay, you see how that adjuster slides down, okay, and that'll basically adjust the brakes closer to the to the to the brake drum so when you pull up the handbrake it'll be a hell of a lot more effective okay okay so we've put our brake drums our brake shoes back at least we've got our anchor pins in nicely we've got all our sp appropriate springs in position okay we've got the adjuster all the way up so that the br brake shoes are all the way back so we have put in our new wheel bearings we just make sure that we don't have any grease on the inside of our contact uh, abrasive surfaces. Okay, we have our oil seal in. Okay, we have our, our grease seal in. So now all we have to do is, we have to push the drum over, all the way. Okay, all the way up against, until it cannot go in anymore. And then, <coughs> we have, just put everything into position then we have a few components which keeps this whole thing in we have a washer okay you will see here is a cleft there's a cleft in the stub axle and there's a little uh, cut out in the in the in the washer so that'll fit into each other so that you can't cannot rotate okay that you push in all the way and then we have a 16 more uh, thread 
that's a 20 24 mil head we'll turn that on it's clockwise okay we'll turn that on clockwise so how you adjust how do you adjust the wheel bearing okay quite simply take your spanner okay turn it not too tight turn it against until you feel that there is no more movement and it's not pushing in anymore just turn take it back take it against and just give it a, a nip okay and then make sure that your drum is nice and loose all right that it is turning on its own and then we will take our uh, our lock washer okay we line it up so that we can take one of our brand new uh, split pins and put our brand new split pin all the way through make sure that the head of the split pin doesn't go right through the hole okay over there make sure that it is actually blocks there. all right now what i normally do i just turn one bit of the split pin around i nip it off and i nip off that section over there okay so that's nice and neat okay that is basically how we fit the brake drum and the brake shoes okay remember our uh, dust cover our dust cover um, or you can actually call it a uh, yeah it's a dust cover it just keeps all the dust out but what it also does is any excess grease centrifugal force will fling the grease out and it will be caught by this cap okay but the, we call it a grease cap all right we just gently tap that on into position make sure it doesn't come off okay sometimes you just need to give it a, a bit of a you know make it a bit oval egg shaped so that when you knock it on it goes on a little bit tighter okay otherwise it might have a tendency to drop out okay what i'd like to show you next is how to actually adjust the handbrake okay it's just a cover which you basically take off like that okay there are you can lift this up a little bit so that we can get to the to the to the nuts but you can see there's two nuts it's a, a adjusting nut and a locking nut okay so basically all you have to do is just get to grip um, them uh, unlock it okay so that you can one hand get my other hand in there and just unlock so once we've got it unlocked you can actually take the top screw off completely okay just to get it out of the way and what i normally do i use a tube socket size 10 tube socket with a long extension and i basically turn okay but before we do that we adjust it all the way down make sure that you adjust all the way down okay so there's hardly any thread don't turn it right off the thread otherwise you're gonna have to re-thread it again pump the brakes and with us pumping the brakes it's gonna auto adjust and remember how i showed you earlier okay those pins um, those adjusters are gonna drop down okay and they're gonna drop up and then um, and pull the brake shoe is basically you can actually hear it clicking at the back there okay and once that's done we'll go back here and then we'll adjust so I'll have my assistant out there, uh, Giuseppe. What I basically need you to do is I'm going to adjust this handbrake and then I just need you to spin the wheel slowly and tell me when it goes tight, okay? All right, so we take our... Uh, go left side, Giuseppe. Passenger side first. Okay, we do the passenger side first. So there we go. Turn that. Handbrake. Adjust it. Tell me when it goes tight. Is it going tightish? Okay, leave it there, go to the other side. Uh, try and adjust it evenly because uh, you know you might find that uh, the one side will bite and the other one won't because um, basically your adjuster is basically swiveling, it's pivoting. Okay. How's it feel on the driver's side? Not yet? Not taking? Now, let's go. How does it feel now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so we pull the handbrake up. Sippy, just uh, see if you can tighten that wheel um, with a power bar. That's a, that's a driver side. That's a good way of checking. Okay. Rolling? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's see. We'll see if uh, Sippy's tightening up there. Sippy pushed down. Thank you. 
tightening it. And you can see it by the handbrake is off. Okay. So um, when you put the handbrake down though, okay, handbrake lever down, you gotta make sure that the wheel actually opens. Okay. We can adjust it a little more because it is still flowing quite freely, but uh, it's only taking on about two two tricks. So I think that should be tight enough. Let's try the passenger side again, Giuseppe. I will just tighten uh, the handbrake. Pull the handbrake up there. Yeah. She, she holding. Right. <coughs> right, so she's holding to me. So, well, look, the thing is, uh, brake shoes are going to take about 100 to 200 kilometers just to bend in. Okay, to make it most effective. It might have to come back for a, just a readjustment uh, once it's running. Okay, but for now, we successfully uh, replaced one wheel bearing, uh, which was noisy. A set of brake shoes, and we've adjusted the handbrake. So all that we need to do now is we need to go up and lock this handbrake um, so that it doesn't move. So we take our locking nut, we turn it against, okay, and we take two size 10 spanners and tighten them up, and then that should do uh, for adjusting the handbrake. Until next time, cheers.